So popping ourselves onto your mat, feet in parallel, get ourselves up and running. So you've got that equal distance between the front of those inside edge of the big toes and the heels. Great stuff. Hands down by the side, seam of the trousers running towards the floor. Shoulder blades gently back and down and belly easing in towards the spine. All right. First of all, the lovely breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Closing your eyes if you wish. Find that little spot on the horizon, even in your mind's eye, and don't let that gaze drift towards the floor. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice, easy work. Okay, so notice some breath coming in and inflating these lungs and spreading this space, this upper thoracic space to the left and right, almost feeling like the outside edge of your shoulder and upper arm is trying to press to the wall either side of you as you inhale. And exhaling, gently breathing out through the mouth. Now, as you breathe in this morning, what I want you to imagine is perhaps allowing yourself to visualize in your head, you've got these two legs underneath you right now, like two little stilts standing there, tall and proud, supporting the pelvis. The pelvis sits on top like a little hat, perhaps a little egg cup with only two little spaces for eggs. And it's just sat there on top of the, uh, the two stilts you've got as your legs. I want you to breathe in and as you breathe in, I want you to find in your mind's eye this lift from the pelvis from the top of the actual um, uh, thigh bone there. So imagining a bit of a stretchiness from the pelvis away from the thigh bone, the femoral head as you inhale, lifting and imagining yourself just grow ever so light from the pelvis. And imagine that soft tissue, like we imagine between the vertebrae, the soft tissue between the, uh, the top of the hip joint there, just having a bit of a stretch as you inhale. And perhaps you notice, therefore, you've got a bit more of a space, a bit more space created through the pelvis, but also a space perhaps around the belly button area as well as you inhale. And find that lift from the pelvis away from the thighs. And then as you exhale and you've allowed yourself to create this space, then drawing in through the belly button to spine, but also the pelvic floors. OK, so maybe a bit more active this morning in this lower abdomen area as you exhale, drawing in the belly to spine, allowing yourself to visualize perhaps even the lower abdominal muscle groups within the pelvis itself underneath the belly button and the pelvic floor area as well, drawing up as you exhale. So quite a, a shift in mind's eye to around that pelvic area this morning. So we've got two more breaths in as you inhale, allowing yourself to grow and press these arms to the side of the room and lift from the pelvis above the hip bones. Exhale, zipping and hollowing, and then gently bring yourselves back in to the room. Okay, still feeling that kind of light spaciousness, almost that lift from the thigh bones. Pop your hands now, fingertips just on the top of your shoulders there. And I want you to feel like you're pressing down those shoulders slightly towards the floor with your own fingertips, okay, away from the earlobes. Now you've got that lowering of the shoulders. Just see if you can elevate the elbows ever so slightly either side of you without losing the press on the shoulders, okay? So you're kind of finding a, a halfway house down with the shoulders, lift with the elbows. From here, we're going to keep everything still, but gently draw our elbows forwards as if you're drawing a little tiny line forwards on the wall either side of you, and then send the elbows back to the room behind you. And again, you're following this line. So you're not dropping the elbows to the floor. You're not lifting or losing that slight press of the shoulders. And you're just simply drawing the elbows forwards and backwards. Perhaps taking a breath in as you come forwards and sending the elbows back or vice versa. Don't worry too much. Just a breath in and exhale as you transition forwards. Or breathe in and exhale as you transition the opposite way. One more time. And pausing in this neutral halfway between the two with your elbows either side of you. Okay, just pause, regroup, think about the space and the lift in the pelvis one more time. Gently draw the elbows forwards. Okay, from here we're now going to take ourselves up towards the sky like a little rainbow hop, lifting your elbows up. Again, still not lifting with the shoulders, but lifting with the elbows and that um, humerus bone, and then send the shoulders and elbows behind you. So we're doing little arcs to the front and the back. We're finding this upper, range of the shoulder joint, but without necessarily really lifting and involving the collarbone. We're just using this humerus bone, scooping up and in the shoulder joint. 
and maybe having a bit of an awareness of your chest muscles engaging towards the front and across the shoulder blades and the traps and the rhomboids as you pull your elbows to the back. And then when you finish this last time, we're going to come back to center. Again, press the shoulders down towards your armpits and your to the floor away from the earlobes and into circles now. Your fingertips are the center of the circle. You're going to draw elbow circles on the wall either side of you as you scooping around. Mindful that you're not lifting those shoulders to the ears. You're just working in that shoulder joint and reversing direction with control. Last two, last one, and then release the, release the hands back down by your sides. Give them a little bit of a shake up if you need to. Wonderful, okay. Into knee fold now, so just ignoring the body slightly, just gently breathing, exhale and knee folding down and breathe in. Find the space in the pelvis as you breathe in and you're standing, exhale, knees just pull down towards the toes. One more time, breathe in, lengthen the legs. That's it, find the space in that pelvis, exhale and knee fold, pause. Yeah, pausing here, okay. Belly is in, we now should feel a nice bit of space in this hip socket. Go ahead and lift your left heel. All righty, so you're really nice and solid on that right foot and into toe touch. So you're right onto your tippy toes of that left heel if you can. Okay, well done. Popping the hands across the chest, shoulder blades should be released and down. All right, now I'm going to ask you here to keep the body upright, okay? So I'm not hinging you forwards at this point. I'd like you to send that left foot slightly behind you. Now you might be able to slide, you might be able to lift that foot and place it away behind you, but without hinging forwards, okay? Find your maximum range without either arch in the back or hinging forwards, okay? Bring that toe back to your start position with a breath in, super still in this bent supporting leg. Exhale as you send the leg behind you. Reach that leg a little bit once you've got there and feel the reach from the thigh bone, yeah? So it's the glute activating and a stretch of that thigh bone out of the hip socket. This knee on the right side stays perfectly still. Breathe in, exhale. Sink that right hip slightly down towards the floor so you're not lifting the hip to get there. You're keeping the hips perfectly parallel. And last time we're pausing with the leg behind us. So reach that leg behind you, feel that length of the thigh bone, maybe a gentle sink of that right hip towards the floor slightly. And then hinging forwards now. So you've got space in that lumbar spine, hinging forward, slight flat back. Control here now, we're going to breathe in and see if we can lift those toes off the back uh, off the back of the mat there and down. So it's a straight leg lift, breathing in when the toe is down and an exhale as you lift. Breathing in, exhale, keeping nice and calm if you can. I'm sure your, your right ankle is going a bit doolally like jelly. Last two, exhale as you lift. Nice space, space in this hip joint and then gently draw your upper, upper body upright, your leg back in and your left foot back on the mat. Bring yourself into standing. Legs a bit of a jiggle if you need to and release off the other body if you need to. Okay. All right. So onto the right hand side. So a gentle knee fold. Find the space in the pelvis. Lift the pelvis and easing down. Well done. Okay. Right leg lifting now onto the heel. Cross the arms across the chest, making sure you're feeling nice and solid through the upper body, shoulder blades down onto your toe touch. Very light toe touch here, all the weights in that left sole of the foot. Space through that, the hips, upright body, just send that right leg out towards the back and feel the stretch as you send that leg away. Breathe in. So we're just looking to get a bit of length through that thigh bone, maybe a bit of activation through the glutes and the hamstring as you or stretch through the hamstring as you reach that leg backwards. Uh, uh, stretch of the hip flexor, sorry, as you reach that leg backwards, actively lengthening the leg, breathing in, exhale. And on the next one, we're going to just leave the leg out there behind us. Feel that length of the leg, the hips are still nice and stacked, still well done. Nice hinging forwards now. Space in the lumbar spine, still so it's a little arch, it's a lengthening through the crown of the head. Breathe in when the toes are down. Exhale, single leg elevation and down. Breathe in. Keeping that right hip just slightly pressing down towards the mat, okay? So you've not got rotation, all right, to get the height and the lift. So you're not lifting the hip to the side. You're just thinking, my toes are just hopping off the floor. And if you're feeling that lovely, um, so that hip flexor is pushing towards the floor on the right there, you can always feel that your inner thighs there on that right leg are also trying to keep you in alignment, perhaps like on the inside edge of that glute max buttock muscle. Last two. Exhale as you lift, 
final one. Gorgeous, well done. And then gently bring your leg back in and into standing release, the arms back down. Okay, so you're gonna face down the length of the mat now. Go ahead and find, you're looking towards the short edge of the mat. And I want you to split your legs, okay? So you've got one forwards and one backwards and your body is completely in between the two. Both heels are down. So you'll feel perhaps a little bit of a stretch on that back leg. And you've got to make sure your weight is into that back heel, okay? So you're not still feeling that, although you're, I've mentioned it, you're, you're predominantly over the front foot, even weight over both feet, nice. Okay, hinging again, we need to find this space in the lovely hip area. So breathing in, allow your pelvis to lift and gently ease your body weight forwards towards the front foot. Now you won't get too far probably, and imagine that front um, hamstring's a little bit restricted. Let your arms now just come down and hang towards the floor. Okay, so they're just hanging down like little pendulums going where they're naturally happy. Elbows now, two strings on the elbows. Lift the elbows up and they're going to slice by the side of your rib cage and pull them towards the side. That's it, well done. Make fists for me with your hands. Breathing in, neck is long, looking down towards your mat in front of you. Exhale and send those fists away behind you. Okay, but the elbow now stays exactly where it is in space and just draw the fist towards your shoulder joint. Well done, breathe in, exhale. So there's no movement of the elbow. It's absolutely set now where it is in space. The only part of us that's moving is this lower forearm. The fist is making the, the, the movement nice and strong as you reach those hands behind, engage through the triceps. We've got four more. Breathe in when the fists are towards your shoulders. Exhale as you press the hands behind. Elbows still tucked in nice and tight. Feet nice and solid on the floor. Last two. And on this last one, I want you to pause with the arms behind you, please. Pausing arms behind. Now open out your fists into finger, straight fingers and reach those fingers towards the wall behind you. Feel a stretch to the arms. Okay, we're going to breathe in and we're going to take an exhale and lift the arms towards the ceiling and circle the arms up towards the back of you and then up and over over your head and towards your shoulders and the front of the mat. Pausing here, your arms come down towards the floor, breathe in, exhale, pull the elbows up towards the ceiling, make fists, send the arms behind you in fist shape, then fingers unfurl, reaching towards the back of the room. Lift using your shoulder blades now, your arms up and over your head, out towards the front of you, but shoulder blades are still engaged, okay? Don't reach where you've lost your shoulder connection and let the hands come down and dangle towards the floor. Last time, elbows pulling in, making fists. Breathe in with intention. Send those arms away behind you. Unfurl your fingers. Breath in. Exhale. Find that range of movement. Arms coming up and overhead, out towards the front, but shoulder blades are still pulling down. And then release your arms to the floor and lift up your body and switch round. Turning round now to face the other direction. Okay. And our legs are split one more time. We're going to go straight into the full movement. So breathe in, exhale, and slight hinge forwards. Pressing into both legs, tummy nice and long, arms dangling towards the floor. We're just going to do three rotations. Gently ease your elbows up towards the ceiling. When you're ready with intention, breathe in. Exhale, send the arms away behind you, reaching those fingertips towards the room behind. Arms up and over, use the shoulder blades and out towards the front. Pause as your arms come towards the floor, breathing in. Exhale, elbows towards the ceiling. And send those arms away. Reach and stretch. Now unfurl the fingers so you get extra reach through the fingers, through the every digit, through the wrist. Arms up and over towards the front. And relax, breathing in. Exhale. Take a breath, hands behind, and lift the arms up and over. And then pause. And release the arms and then gently bring your upper body upright, turning forwards towards the front of your mat. I'm sorry, I'm just switching your legs. Bend the knees just gently and find the bendiness of the knees, finding just sort of a bit of a rest off that lower back. Nice, well done. Okay, gorgeous. Taking the arms now, just place them behind you. So clasping, interlacing those fingers. And we're just going to pause here with the bent knees. So you're going to feel a bit of press into the little toes. Yes, you've got a slight turn out of those feet. Tummies in. All right, and just a gentle, perhaps a tiny tuck under, just a small tuck under to make sure we're not dumping into that lower spine. Breathing in, exhale, again, shoulders are low, lift both arms towards the back of the room and just, just gently elevate and chest uh, open for me. Breathing in, let the fingers head towards your bottom and exhale as you lift. 
Now, again, you're thinking of what's going on here. You're going to think about the rib cage still pulling down to the pelvis, shoulder still nice and low. As you just stretch through the front of the shoulder and across the chest. And this is the last time lift. And pause here. Go ahead and extend the legs now so the knees are straight. We're going to take this into a straight leg roll down. So let, lift your body upright so your legs are straight. And as we roll down, we're going to elevate our arms towards the sky. So when you're ready, breathe in, tuck your chin into your throat space. If you do prefer the bent knee, that is fine. That's not a problem. Otherwise, try and have the legs straight. We're going to lift the arms towards the sky as we roll down. Just shuffle around and modify accordingly as to where you feel comfortable with the distance of these legs. Okay, lift the arms towards the sky. Now we're going to again, separate the hands and sweep the arms behind you and around you. Just so we did a moment ago, like a butterfly swimming stroke, send the arms up and over and down towards the floor in front of you. Now, if you can touch the floor or maybe you need to widen the legs or perhaps just towards the floor and hanging, that's fine. But I want you to lift your gaze now and try and head into a flat back. So you're almost trying to reach your back and parallel to the floor forwards. You may be able to with a press with these hands on the floor, get a little bit of a stretch in that lower spine. That's lovely, gorgeous. Drop your gaze now towards your fingertips and then gently roll back up. We're gonna do that one more time. So just accordingly, if you feel like you maybe can send those legs a little bit further away, do so if you'd rather have the soft knees that is fine hands clasped behind the back shoulder blades back and down well done okay breathing in go ahead exhale roll the chin down towards the throat space as you're peeling down the arms start to elevate towards the sky lifting those arms up and over pause when you've got your maximum roll down soften your knees if you wish we're going to separate those hands and let them swim like a big butterfly stroke over and round mobilize the shoulders towards the floor in front of you if you can or in that direction now we're going to lift our gaze pull the crown of the head forwards and pull into a flat back where you're really stretching and in parallel to the floor easing that body weight forwards and pressing the hips slightly down towards the floor lowering your gaze Pull the belly, belly button in slightly, lifting your, so bring your chin into your chest, lifting the lower spine now, building, restacking the spine one by one vertically, vertically up into standing. Well done, gorgeous. Walking those legs back in, just draw the toes in and the heels to just bring yourself slightly off that pressure on the hip joint. Nice. And bring yourself back in. Okay, fabulous. We're off to the end of the mat. Face down the length of the mat and we're going to roll down, full roll down. Again, bend the knees if you wish. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, equally, if you uh, suffer from any hip issues or low back problems or perhaps you, um, you've got uh, osteoporosis, you will not want to be rolling down an appeal. So I'd like you to bend your knees. And if you are that person, you're just gently heading into a hinge. And from the hinge, you can then head into the floor. All right, so when you're ready, breathing in, roll down as you wish. Straight leg or bent. Hinging or rolling down and peeling towards the floor, or a hinge with bent legs and down towards the floor accordingly. All right, once you've got there, walking the hands forward, bending the knees so you can reach the floor if you haven't got that flexibility, and we're into four point kneeling. Okay, all right, so settling in four point kneeling. Any cushions you need under your knees, please go ahead. We're going to work on the, um, the right leg at the moment, and um, sorry, big pardon, our left leg and our right arm. So if you do want to put a cushion, it goes under your right knee. All righty, so we are going to be thinking of this shoulder blade position we had a moment ago. The belly is in, shoulder blades are back and down, pulling away from those ears. Let's go ahead now and send the right arm forwards, but this time it's palm down. So you're just releasing that hand forwards and palm down, nice, well done. From here, breathe in, exhale, and we're going to lift the arm, perhaps to cheek uh, height, maybe temple, if you've got that flexibility, and lower it back down. So breathe in, simple, single arm lift, repeating on the right, and down. So you might not get too high. I definitely don't want you to lift your gaze and lower your belly to the uh, mat to get the lift. So don't get too high if you can't. It might just be simply lifting the palm off the floor and down a small centimeter or two. Okay, good, nice. Great, last one. And bring the arm back in underneath you. Let's go ahead and switch sides. When you're ready, breathing in, shoulder blades back and down, belly in, left palm is forwards, fingertips on the floor. Breathe in, exhale, and left arm lifting and lower. So you're gonna just repeat on the other side. Switching sides, good, nice, and down. Slight, tiny tuck under the pelvis there. Just a little bit of tuck if you can, just opens out that lumbar spine a smidgen. 
last two and last one bringing that hand back in and underneath you okay so we're going to add in the opposite arm and leg so as i say your cushion should be under the right knee if you need to it's active on the left knee only take the right hand forwards fingertips are down palm is down as well and go ahead and extend that left leg out to the floor behind you so currently your limbs are on the floor nice belly in again shoulder blades back and down go ahead and lift your leg now towards your uh, hip height Okay, pause and reach and lift your arm as well. Lifting, 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 pausing here, gorgeous. Now the, uh, the leg is gonna stay where it is and I would like you just to bring that belly button in, grow through the spine, lift your arm now up towards the ceiling. We're going to now sweep the arm around and towards your bottom and thigh and then gently draw the arm back underneath you and forwards towards the front of the mat. Breathing in, leg stays elevated, arm circle, lifting, Try and still to keep the shoulders facing down towards the floor. Okay, so you're just sending that arm around in an arm circle. Now, if this arm, sorry, the leg elevated is too much, just drop the toes towards the floor. That can be down. That is fine. Okay, not a problem. Just for keeping that counterbalance, a little bit of a challenge out towards the opposite leg there, and then bring that arm back in and draw your knee underneath you, switching sides. Okay, so now we're going to take that right leg out towards the back of the room, toenails down, left arm forwards, palm down. Okay, lifting the leg to begin with, gently lifting the leg, that leg, that hip slightly pushing down, down towards the floor, elevating your palm and arm off the mat as well. Again, we're going to just check that we've got the length through the whole of the spine, pulling that pelvis away from the hip joint with a breath in. Exhale, lift that arm now up and over, sweeping round by your thigh and gently drawing it underneath you with a breath in. Exhale, sending the arm up and away. Reaching through that leg still nice and strong and long through the whole of the torso. Again, touching that leg down if you need to for a bit of balance. We're still trying to keep the shoulders facing down towards the mat. And when you finish this last one, just pushing your, pulling your hand back, sorry, pulling your knee back in underneath you, the arms onto the mat. Gently allowing your bottom now to head towards your heels into a, a child's pose or a shell stretch. And pausing here for a moment, weight off the wrist. Gorgeous, well done. And one more breath in. Okay, so I'm going to just let, get you to just draw your head slightly back up on the mat if it's uh, down there and tuck your fingertips underneath you so your nails are just going to pull, uh, just touch the mat and just gently hook your fingers underneath your wrist and just pause the stretch over the top of the wrist for me. If you can do two at a time, then go ahead. You're more than welcome to do both. If you'd rather just do one and then feel like you can do the other without putting all the weight on both wrists, then just alternate one and then the other or both at the same time and just breathe again just pause okay bring yourself into four point kneeling for a small bit of a um, back stretch before we head on so i'd like you to bring into four point kneeling allow your right elbow now to just come down towards the mat all right it's going to be a pretty much halfway point between the heel of the hand and the knee you might want to just look slightly towards the side and we get a stretch in that lower back. Okay, pause and hold, breathing here. And then lift yourself back up into four point kneeling. Opposite elbow heading down towards the mat, allowing yourself a stretch and a slight rotation, but a stretch in that lower spine. With the left elbow down, you're stretching and opening the right side of the body and just looking over towards wherever it's comfortable with your gaze. Breathe into this stretch. Gorgeous. Well done. And bring yourself back up. Okay. We're going to head down onto our fronts, all right? So we're going to be in the goalpost position with your elbows out to the side and the head in the middle, all right? Do make sure, often find in class, okay, that when we're down in this goalpost position, a couple of things happen. One is the elbows are actually quite far down by the waist. They need to be in parallel to the shoulders. The other thing that happens is then the elbows are correct, but the hands then still come in and are close to the head. So think about the angles you've created here, right angle at the elbow joint, fingertips are facing forwards towards the front of your mat, and the forearm is in parallel equidistant from the long edge of the mat. Okay, so that's where you guys should be this morning. All right, so 
We are going to be doing some fingertip lifting. I want you to be aware, if you've suffered from this before, what I want you to be aware is there are various alternatives. If you struggle when we go into the lift of the hand when the elbow stays down, you can keep the fingertips down and I just want you to elevate the lower heel on the palm of the hand, okay? That little cup of the hand itself, but the fingers can stay down. That's your modification, okay? So we're legs roughly speaking parallel. They're kind of switched off really. Shoulder blades are back and down. Belly is slightly in, so it's just an energetic uh, pull from the mat and a lengthening of the neck space as well. Find that nice space pulling through the crown of the head. When you're ready, we're going to breathe in and simply lift the right elbow off the mat. The fingertips stay down and the hand stays down for the moment and place it back down. I should say the floor really by your sides. Breathe in, left elbow lifts and down. Okay, so currently the palm of the hand is down, the heel of the hand is down. We're just elbow lifting, no hand at all. And if you feel kind of confident with this, perhaps you can start to lift the heel of the hand as well. So you're pulling and lifting onto the fingertips only. Now we're not looking to necessarily lift and pull the shoulders up to the ears. Still remember guys, those shoulder blades are back and down. We do lots of work to make sure we know the placement of the shoulders is away from the earlobes. We've got one more either side. And now let's go ahead and think about doubles when you're ready. If you can, you're breathing in either lifting the elbow only or the heel of the hand, but either way, we're always on the fingertips and something at the front edge of that hand there is down, whether it's the heel of the hand or the fingers, we're just lifting those elbows, last two. Exhale as you lift and last one. Leaving the elbows down, we're going to now take our thoughts towards the fingertips. Go ahead and breathe in, exhale. We're gonna see if we can lift the fingertips on the right hand, sorry, the right, the right hole of the hand, so beg pardon, lift and lower. We're gonna see if we can lift the hand on the left side and lower. Now you might find that they're very different from each other. You might find one has a nice little range that's quite restricted if you feel uncomfortable. As I said at the outset, just lift the heel of the hand. So that's just effectively lifting the limb of your lower arm, your tip, um, your re re radius and ulna, but you're not actually lifting the whole of the hand and feeling pressure, okay? So that might be enough. If you think you can move to doubles, you can move to double fingers or double hands or double lift of the heel and the cup of the hand. And last two. Or we continue with singles. Last one. And pause there. Gorgeous. Well done. We're going to just now think about just keeping the shape of the arms. The belly button is going to come in towards the spine. Reset the shoulders back and, back and down. And we're going to add in a whole arm, head, neck and shoulders lift. So when you're ready, we're going to breathe in. Exhale, lifting the arms in their entirety, shoulders, sorry, um, elbows and hands, and the forehead also comes off the mat by roughly one or two centimeters. Looking down at the mat the whole time, come back onto the floor, everything on the floor at the same time with the breath in. Exhale, lifting and lowering. Now, if you immediately think this is just too much for my lower back, I'd rather just lift my arms, go for it. If you'd like to leave your arms down and just forehead float, you can do that also. Okay, so totally up to you, or adding in arms, head, neck, and shoulders. As you lift for three more. Really pulling your forehead and so pulling your crown of your head forwards, forehead still in parallel to the floor. And last one, strength work for that back. Lift, lift, lift. Gorgeous. And release. Wonderful. Okay. Pop your hands now by your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. We're going to just push into child's pose. So gently breathe in. Exhale as you lift up into child's pose. Okay. So that was the first of our prone pieces. We're going to be coming back to that in a moment. But what we will do is just dodge back to the four point kneeling and tricep work. Now you've actually had a sneaky, a sneaky little rest and bring yourself into some active tricep work. So hands underneath our shoulders. You'll recall just before we did that prone work, we did our elbows to the mat and created that sort of sense of stretch in the lower spine. 
want you to think about that same plane that's on the side of your body, okay? So as we go into our tricep dip, I want you to imagine that the elbows are kind of heading into that same direction. They're probably not going to get all the way to the mat, okay? But that's the direction they're traveling. If you carried on, they would go down to the mat. However, I want you to think about where your top of the head is. Currently in four-point kneeling, imagine a wall has come towards the top of the head there. You're going to slide your head down that wall, okay, as if you were trying to get, grab a little treat there on the mat and then slide the head back up the wall. That is your visual. Whilst keeping these elbows really tucked in tight, that really is a very effective tricep work piece, okay? So we're parking those shoulder blades back and down. The belly is in. Slide the head down the wall with a bend of the elbows and then use your elbow joint to slide you back up the wall. You see, well done. Down we go, elbows tucked in nice and tight. Nice, good. Now imagine the top of the head sliding down the wall. What I don't want you to do is when you get to the bottom, lift and press your chin and nose against the wall, okay? You've got to imagine it's the top of the head there, the crown of the head, just sliding up and down. And last one, it's quite concentrated and intense for these triceps when you get it nailed, and then gently up into your start position and ease your bottom towards your heels for a rest off. Okay. We are going to do one more set because they tire super quickly. So we'll do one more set. Let them have a bit of a rest for a moment. Okay. And bring yourself back into four point kneeling. If you're feeling particularly gung ho, you can walk your hands one uh, step forwards. Again, parking your head at that space, uh, that, uh, um, against that wall there. Elbows still stay in or back in full point kneeling, it's fine. Breathe in, exhale and send your head down the wall with an elbow bend. The elbows tucking by the side of your ribcage and chest in that lovely plane, that, um, uh, um, yeah, that same plane as the shoulders and the hips that we worked originally. Breathing in, exhale as you're down. Elbows staying in nice and tight, maybe a little bit more of a pulley, pull of the belly to spine to eliminate any arching in that lower back. And we have one more against that wall. Down we go with the forehead and the crown. Nice one. And up, final time. Heels and bottom together behind you into child's pose. Okay, again, as we did before, if you wish to tuck your uh, fingered nails underneath you one at a time or both at a time and just gently press uh, the uh, front of the knuckles, front of the fingers down onto the mat and stretch over your wrists, you are welcome. Or one at a time as before. Or just wrist rotations or just hang out here if you're fine and breathe. And then we're back into pro lying. Okay, so we've we're back down on the mat, guys, but this time we're going to have our hands uh, stacked and the hands, the top hand underneath your forehead. OK, so go ahead and pop yourselves down. Going to work a little bit of back extension. So your legs can be up to you, really, with back extension work. I personally think a little bit wider than hip width apart to begin with. They're not too wide and shoulder blades are back and down. Okay, so we've just done some strength work in the lower back. So please be conscious if you've made, um, um, or you feel a little bit uncomfortable there already, but we hopefully will keep this nice and safe. Your elbows are back and down. We will, I'm gonna breathe in and exhale. And as you exhale, just lift the forehead off your hands. Okay, so we've done this range of movement already with our um, arm lifts. So just a couple to remind yourself that your forehead is down, okay, to begin with. And you're gonna pull the crown of the head forwards Again, making space, perhaps more obviously from the lumbar spine, that lower big L5, L4, pulling away from the pelvis, if you can, that sense of lengthening from the base of the spine, more so perhaps from the pelvis this time. If you feel like you can go ahead and lift a little bit more, perhaps the elbow is coming off the mat, then please do, taking the elbows off the mat, you can lift. Still looking down towards the mat for the moment, please, and your hands, and back down. So we've got no particular back extension here. We're just looking towards growing and decompressing the spine, as we've talked about before, where you're lengthening and making space between the vertebrae, looking down towards the, uh, the mat as you lift, just pulling forwards. On this next time, I want you to lift and pause. So finding your lift, it might be elbows down, it might be elbows up, 
And both, when we get to that maximum range in both levels, looking now up towards the other side of the room. So lift your chin away from your throat space. And we're looking up. And now we're in a bit more back extension. Good. Shoulder blades back and down. Relax those elbows slightly down a little bit as well. Not by bending them, but just by pulling them, rolling the shoulder blades, rolling those arms in. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Okay, from here, we're now going to separate both hands and face the fingertips forwards. Now we're palm down again. Slide your fingertips towards the front edge of the mat. Okay, engagement through the core and the pelvic floors, lifting now to roughly speaking your uh, temple or the um, um, eye line and down, breathing in and switch. Now, if your elbow is down, okay, you're going to be just sending your arms forward to, uh, to roughly eye line or temple height, okay. Maintaining that lift with the body, the upper body, so you're still working on that strength of the lower back. Bringing both hands down or in this next time, civil hands on top of each other and then peel back down, pulling the upper body forwards, bringing yourself down segmentally, one vertebra at a time and forehead down and onto your hands. Okay, so we're going to do this one more time. This time we're adding in our arm circle. Just a little peep for me, if you can, we're going to bring ourselves up into our lifted position. So you may be with your elbows down or elevated, swinging the arms forward. We're going to come forwards. Uh, sorry, we're going to lift the arm up and over, just touching towards the back of your uh, thigh or buttock. We're then going to reverse direction, okay, and back, yeah? All righty, so when you're ready, breathing in, shoulder blades back and down, belly nice and tight. Exhale as you start to lift your forehead off the mat, pulling the crown of the head, stretch from that L5, L4, and then up into your maximum level by lifting your gaze. And if you can, you're lifting your elbows. All righty, if you're up, you're going to swivel your hands so fingertips face the front edge of the mat, belly in. Let's go ahead and reach that right arm forwards. For everyone's right arm forwards, lifting to your first level eye or temple height. Now looking forward, still shoulders stay forwards, lift that arm up and over and sweep round towards your thigh. Still looking forward, shoulders facing forwards, breathe in, exhale, reverse direction now to the sky, arms come towards each other. Uh, towards the front and switch sides. Breathe in, left hand forward sliding and elevation to eye height or temple. Breathe in, exhale up and over, still trying to kind of look forward, there'll be some movement of the spine undoubtedly, and then lift and reverse direction. We're only gonna do those two, okay? So when you're ready, swivel the hands towards each other, pull your upper body forwards and gently ease back down, 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 down onto the mat. Nice, well done, okay. All righty, so let's just allow the body just to relax in the upper body at the moment. The shoulders can come to the ears. I don't mind, maybe a bit of a wiggle of the hips and the pelvis from side to side. But I want to pop the legs now even wider. Okay, so let's go ahead and find a nice wide position for these legs towards the corners of the mat. And in that position there, I want you to be aware that you can either roll the heels in or you can kind of roll the heels out slightly less comfortably but then roll the heels out so the toes are in. I want you to start off with the choosing of the heels in, okay? Now, if when you roll those heels in, you think, oh, I can widen my legs a bit more, please do find that maximum range, okay? And the belly is in and be aware, perhaps the pelvic floor is a little bit engaged here for me. And I want you to breathe in and exhale and just simple single leg lift on the right there with the toes out and the heels in. And breathe in, exhale, lift in the opposite leg. So we're going to alternate left to right, right, and then left to right. Okay, breathing in, exhale. So feel that lengthening through the thigh bone. Now you're gonna think about that thigh bone trying to stretch itself away from your hip joint as you lift. Okay, so you're lengthening not only through the thigh bone, but even the knee joint, even all the way down through to that ankle, out the heel. You're lengthening and lifting with an exhale. Next time you lift, I'd like you to come back and pause. We're going to see if we can head into double. So pausing there, breath in, big belly in and exhale, double leg lift if you can. If this is immediately not for you or you find the only way you can do it is by bending your knees, please go back to your singles on either side. Keep pushing those heels in, turning those toes out. 
big belly in and lovely counterbalance. Okay, by making sure we're not coming and pulling in from the lower spine. This is from the glutes. Last two. And final one. Okay, now to perhaps a slightly easier version. I'm going to get you to get heels out and toes in. Okay. You don't need to worry about too much flexion at the ankle, okay? That will feel a little bit uncomfortable, but just the sense of the heels out and toes in for me. And you probably won't necessarily be able to get the legs quite as wide, so that's fine, but we do need to make them stay wide. So breathe in, exhale, and lift your right heel, toes in and down. And switch to the other side. Now again, if you can visualize this as being a thigh bone lift, we try and eliminate the bend at the knee, because it does really want to help, okay? And maybe a little bit of um, a tip or encouragement of, to help your lift is as you lift one leg, just try and pull the opposite shoulder blade slightly down, or even perhaps a slight press of the opposite elbow into the mat. Okay, we'll just give you a little bit of a, um, a st stabilizer. Okay, that might help slightly, it might mean nothing. And if you feel like you can head into your doubles, go ahead with a double lift. Again, all about the length of the leg, the belly in. Okay, so not getting great height, it's not the aim. It's about a long straight leg, belly in hugely. Support that lower back, using the glutes, last one and legs come back down. Okay, guys. So bring the legs into neutral, give them a bit of a wiggle from side to side and the hips as well. Legs come now into hip width apart, okay? So bring the back in, they're kind of roughly speaking, if you tap them together, you'll move them apart by about an orange or a, or a fist width. And I'd like you to bend your right knee and bend your right ankle. So you have your ankles and right angle and right knee, okay. So from here, we're going to now work on our high five. So I'd like to split your hands now so that they're just either side of your head. So you're, you're not necessarily elevating. Sometimes when we, we get a little bit of a lift of the knee with our neck already elevated, it gets a little bit scrabby. So I want you to turn your head slightly to the side. I don't mind which side. And hands are split, your head's down on the mat. You're gonna breathe in and as you exhale, just gently lift the thigh bone and imagine yourself high-fiving the sky with the sole of the foot and back down. You're gonna repeat on the same side this time. So you're gonna just repeat as you lift the thigh bone and down. Okay, and again, as you're lifting this right leg, perhaps a gentle pull down of the left shoulder blade, maybe a gentle press of the right elbow into the mat. Just slightly activating the opposite diagonal uh, um, um, collection of muscle groups on the left hand side of the shoulders and the arms. Last two. And final one. And switching sides now. Okay, so if you want to um, turn your face the opposite direction, you're more than welcome. Check those knees haven't meandered too far away from each other. Now that your legs are in hip width, there should be again about an orange between the two knees there. Have a little press together, see how far away you are. Uh, knee joint is right angles as is the um, left ankle. Breathing in, exhale, belly nice and in and just lifting that left knee off the mat if you can. Sending that shin and that lower limb up towards the sky directly above the knee joint, not by pushing the leg away towards the end of the mat, okay? The right angle stays at that left knee. As you exhale, pressing the sole of the foot towards the sky, maybe a little bit of a press in that right elbow, right shoulder blade pulling down as you lift. Well done. Last four. And three. Last two. And final one, perfect, well done. Pausing with that leg back down, gorgeous. Sweep the arms back underneath your forehead and we're going to do one final piece. So you've got your legs in parallel. Okay, so you're roughly hip width apart, just try and relax off those hips slightly for me if you can. We've got no angles at the ankle, they're nice and relaxed. Okay, I'd like you to just bring the shoulder blades back and down and fire them up slightly more, belly in. Alrighty, lifting your forehead slightly off the mat. 
as uh, sorry, sorry, slightly off your hands, you're into your just lengthening and decompression of the spine, forehead float. Lifting your right leg now, reach that right leg in the opposite direction towards the end of the mat. So you've got your forehead lifted, growing through the crown, space in the spine. You've got your right leg lifted, reaching through the whole of the limb. And now pausing with these, uh, these two um, uh, upper body and lower body lifts, I want you to now send that right leg out towards the far corner of your room and then back into center. Breath in, exhale, send that leg to the far corner of the room and then back in, breathe in, exhale. Now again, you might be thinking I need to put a bit more energy into that left shoulder blade, a bit more of a pull down of the left shoulder to make sure that you don't roll, you don't twist the mid spine. It's a lengthening of the leg and a movement around the outside of your right buttock cheek and the right side of your thigh. And down last, so no, out, out. So we're hovering to the side, to the center, last time to the side and center, release that leg back down. Head, back, head on the sh um, hands as well, breathe in and pause. On your next exhale, reset shoulder blades back and down, lifting the forehead, grow through the crown of the head, find the decompression of that spine. Lifting now the left leg, pause and reach. Okay, so like the dart, you're growing all the way through the crown of the head, stretching down and out through those toes. When you're ready, breathing in, send that left leg now to the left corner of your mat or room. Come back in and hover, pause and hover, breathe in. Exhale, send that leg away to the side. I should have said before, I do apologize. If you need to slide this leg, if you'd rather just slide the leg along the floor or perhaps a gentle touch and a lift and a touch to the side, that's another option. Or indeed the head can come back down onto the hands at any point if you wish. We're just working on some back strength work this week. So this is our last piece of back strength, guys. So well done, but do modify if you'd like to. A slight push down of that right shoulder and armpit and shoulder blade as you head to the left for two and last one or just bring the leg back in alignment and release the head down onto your hands tuck your toes under pop your hands by your shoulders we're going to lift up and over into four point kneeling for a cat stretch okay so we are just going to dig a little bit more deep than the um um, child's pose. So bring yourself into four point and lift now mid spine towards the sky, gently tucking your tailbone under, just easing into flexion and maybe a press into the heels of the hands, a press into the shins as you breathe in. Exhale, let the belly head towards the floor. Lift now your gaze and push your tailbone out behind you. Well done. Gorgeous. Breathing in and lift. And breathe in, exhale, sending your belly towards the mat. Well done. Coming into neutral. Well done. Over onto your side line now, please. So just lying on the side. Okay, facing forward. All righty, gorgeous. Okay, so from here, we're just going to be thinking of yourself a parallel down the middle of the mat. Check you can see a toenail, shoulder blades are back and down. Arm is elevated as you can with the elbow on the mat and the head hat supporting, uh, supported by your hand or go ahead and hand out, that's not a problem. From here, we're going to pop the top hand just in front of the belly button and lengthen those legs again, pulling the thigh bone out the hip socket, top leg lifting and lowering. Now I want these legs to be lengthened so much that you feel that the lower leg perhaps is also slightly elevating too off the mat, perhaps that sense of your ankle or your foot slightly hovering there. If that's not available to you, then don't worry, but legs are long, lifting and lowering like scissors, opening and closing. Well done. And last one, pausing with the legs down, but they're still nice and lengthened. We're going to come into javelin. If you find your balance is an issue, just let that lower leg bend slightly, okay, as you head into javelin. All righty, so it's up to you completely. If you can be in your legs extended, then go for it with legs extended. We're going to lift the top uh, arm over into arc, easing the arm towards your air with a breath in. Exhale as you lift your arm and top arm, a leg. Well done, and down, breath in. Exhale, control and focus. Mm -hmm. Hand down. 
and lift and down and last time lift and down pausing here please bring your top arm towards the front corner of the mat and send your top leg away behind you so you're reaching through this diagonal from the corner to corner if again you need to bend that lower leg for any balance please do what we're going to do is sweep our arm down towards our thigh as we do so bring your thigh bone forward towards the front corner of the mat well done trying to keep the shoulders stacked breathing in exhale sweep top arm forwards send your leg away behind you breathe in exhale let's say it's about control if you need to bend that lower leg please do okay and sweeping forwards reach corner to corner and sweep the arm behind you reach that top leg forwards gorgeous well done and bring yourself back to center top hand down breathing in in readiness for double leg lift shoulder blades pulling back and down double leg lift to the side and lower so both legs together breathing in exhale let that lower leg lift the top leg well done four more and three, and last two. And pause with these legs elevated. Okay, we need to think about that slight lift of the rib cage here, ever so slightly. If we dump down too much, it's gonna be hard for us to do our scissors. I'd like you to now bring those legs, split one leg forward, one leg backwards. Okay, now find again that little space for the mouth underneath the rib cage and armpit here. Just a nice little lift. Even with the arm extended, you can still feel that sense of lifting the rib cage ever so slightly. Now we're going to do a speedy, speedy walk, okay? We're going to imagine you're on a, um, they like to call it a lovely New York sidewalk. I can imagine that. I'm in a terrible rush. And we're going to go a lot quicker with our little scissor kick. So when you're ready, breathing in, and we're going to switch, 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 switch. It's so a switch, 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 switch. You're in a bit of a rush. Nice small switches. Well done. That's it. Off we go. Power walk for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, three, two, and one. Legs come back down. Gorgeous. Well done. Pause legs down for a second. Regroup. All righty. Bring in the top leg forward, please, and the bottom leg towards the back. Okay. Top leg is going to be pressing, so the top front leg is pressing slightly into the mat and the lower back leg is reaching towards that back corner one more time. We're going to lift that back leg towards the ceiling and off the mat and down, breathing in. Exhale, back leg lift. Gorgeous, well done. Gorgeous, nice. Breathe in. Exhale, lengthening that leg, squeezing the glutes slightly towards the back of you there as you lift and lower and lift and lower for four, for three, last two. Holding off this next time, please pause and hold. We're now going to press that leg ever so slightly to the back of the mat. So you're gonna just press and press and press and press. Again, thinking of thigh bone pressing as a squeeze of the glutes for four, for three, for two, Last one, gorgeous, bringing that leg back down, bringing the legs into parallel and into your chest. Take your hands by your shoulders, lifting yourself up and over to the other side, well done. Okay, so in exactly the same way, aligning yourself down the mat, arm up or down. Just able to see those toenails, top hand just in front of the belly button space. Okay, or put in a cushion between your ear and yeah, your shoulder, okay. Legs are long, so immediately feel that lengthening of the legs to the point where you maybe, may be able to float that lower foot slightly off the mat, okay, because you're so lengthened. And from here, we're going to take the top leg and lift towards the sky and down, breathing in. Exhale, long legs and down. And lifting and lowering. Feel that power through, uh, through the thigh bone pulling out of the hip socket that we've worked on all sessions so far. And lifting and lowering. We've got two more and down. And last one and down. Pausing here. We're going to see if we can head up into javelin. Okay, so taking the top one is javelin. Again, if you need to bend the lower leg, just bending it back slightly will give you a little tiny bit of a stabilizer. So see how you feel. Both legs are reaching and stretching. Okay, we're over into arc now, over into arc where your arm comes towards your temple. Well done. From here, we're going to breathe in, exhale, and see if we can lift into javelin and single leg. Okay, well done. Over into arc, 
for five more. Good, and four. Gorgeous. Really challenging that stabilizing front and back combinations of muscles as they talk to each other. Last two. And final one. Gorgeous, well done. Pausing here, well done. Taking the top arm forwards towards the front edge of the mat. Okay, front corner, pause here and let your left, your top leg now send itself away to the back corner of the mat. You've got that diagonal reach all the way through the hip flexor, fingertips to toes. Again, bend the knee if you need to, if that lower leg for stability is now moving front to back is even more challenging. Breathe in, exhale, sweep the arm down now towards the hip. As the hand crosses over the hip, you send your leg forwards with control. Breathing in, exhale, and switch. So you're trying to stay nice and stable through your shoulder and a hip girdle, okay? So try really hard to avoid great twisting, okay, through the body. Forwards of the breath in, exhale. We've got two more. Well done. And last one. Well done. Gorgeous. And then bring everything back through to center for a double leg lift. Hand back on the mat. Bring your leg, lower leg straight if it is bent. And when you're ready, breathe in. And make a little tiny space for that mouth there. Nice and active through the upper spine. And lift the double legs together at your side. Lower leg being our big um, lifting muscle group here. As you lift the top leg with the lower leg. Well done, keeping those hips nice and stacked, shoulders stacked, looking out towards the horizon if you can. And lower, last two, and lower, last one. And pausing here with the legs slightly elevated, we're going to split those legs forwards and backwards. So you've got one coming forwards, one backwards. Okay, again, making that little house for the mouse. So you've got a bit of a lift of the rib cage if you can, just helps us with um, weight off that hip. And we're going to be going a little bit faster. Remember our New York speeding uh, sidewalk walking, we're ready. We're going to go forwards and backwards really quick. Here we go. And it's a switch, 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 switch. Nice, nice work. Just working in parallel to the floor, trying still to face out towards the front, not twisting to look at what's going on with the legs. We're going for four. For three, switch, 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 for two, switch, 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 yeah, one, switch, 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 well done, legs come back down and relax off the body for a moment. Taking your top leg forward, so the lower leg is out towards the back of the mat, okay, so that's top leg towards the front, and a gentle press of that top foot into the floor, just to, just as that kind of so you know it's there, not leaning and moving on that top hip though, okay, so just pressing that connection. Breathe in, lengthen the back leg nice and long at the back corner of the mat, and lift that back leg up towards the sky and back down with a breath in. Exhale as you lift, and lower. Well done. Nice shoulders back and down, nice long neck, looking out to the horizon as you lift and lower, gentle press onto that front foot, that's your stabilizer. And as you exhale, belly to spine, pelvic floor strong. Last two. And then we're gonna hold this next time with the leg lifted, okay? So when you're ready, lift and pause. Lengthen that leg a bit more. Now we're gonna send that leg a little bit towards the back of the room behind you and to the start position with the breath in. Exhale, press the leg behind you and down. And press and down and press. Not and down, sorry, just and back, just to press forwards and backwards. Last two. And our final one and pause there, leg releasing back down towards the floor. Okay, bring your knees in towards your chest, just a gentle relaxation for a moment, and we're gonna roll onto our back side. So just roll onto your back there for me. Okay, easing your knees in towards your chest, holding over, hooking over those kneecaps, draw the knees in for me, and just gently lifting perhaps the lower part of your tailbone or uh, pelvis off the floor, just hold those knees in, and a gentle roll from side to side. Okay, placing the feet back down to the mat. Arms are out towards your side and teeth. 
T shape with fingers down, or sorry, palms down on the floor. Feet on the floor, knees up to the sky like mountains. Go ahead and send those knees in unison towards the right side of you. Just allow them to head all the way to their maximum range. You feel you're comfortable with the shoulder blades still down on the floor and pause here. If you'd like to look over towards the left, go ahead and just turn your gaze, look over towards the left and pause and breathe for me here. If you would like to intensify this stretch, okay, so this is a hold, you're hanging out here for a moment. If you want to intensify this slightly, you can lift your top knee slightly up towards your chest and go ahead and draw that, that um, left knee up closer towards your right arm by holding behind the right thigh, okay? So you can just gently deepen the stretch over the hips, perhaps even through the waist and the spine. I'm not sure I said that very well. Basically, you're holding onto your left leg with your right hand. <laughs> okay, that's it, yeah, perfect. Well done. And then release the gaze first, then the leg if you've got a hold, bring those knees back together, or if you're not, bring both knees towards the sky and just regroup to centre. Give yourself a moment just to centralise first. Breathe in and go ahead and send both knees towards the left. Shoulder blades still, main, uh, still maintaining kind of contact with the mat. Look towards the right if you can. And just with the other side again, once you've got, you know, kind of comfortable, see how you feel. You might want to then grab that right leg with your left arm and just gently hold or hook behind the thigh. It just encourages you to deepen that stretch ever so slightly. But if that feels enough for you without, please don't go any further. We have got a lot of work on our back, so just pause and breathe here. Okay, when you're ready to come back out of this, first of all, we'll bring our eyes towards the ceiling, straighten up the neck. Then we'll let go of the leg to reduce the intensity of the stretch, knees back on top of each other, and then bring those knees back towards the ceiling. Gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to bring ourselves into sitting. So you can do that by bringing your knees towards the side or bring your knees into your chest and just gently start to roll, and like, roll like a ball with your chin tucked into your throat space. Here yourself up into sitting here. Crossing your legs, we're going to bring ourselves into four point knee. Okay, so whichever way you want to get there, we're going to finish off with a thread the needle. You may like to thread the needle with your bottom towards your heels in child's pose and just sending one arm underneath. Then we can have a peep there. If you want to go into extended thread the needle, you can send your arms towards the front of the mat. And you may find that that's more comfortable for you with the bottom away from your heels. And you can again send the arm underneath your armpit. Your palm is up towards the sky. Okay, nice. Pretty. And your right shoulder, so your top shoulder is trying to just move a little bit further behind you. Trying like it's trying to head towards the sky and rotate slightly more up and away over that top ear. Now, if your head doesn't get to the mat in either of these or your bottom isn't comfortable, please put cushions under your head. You can put a cushion under your knees, between your bum and your knees. And it'll help you from just kind of hanging out here too much in space. Let's get those connection points. Breathe one more time. As you exhale, just slowly ease each joint back or each limb back into center. And then we're going to swap sides. So when you're ready, breathing in, opposite hands posting underneath your armpit. Head down on a cushion on the mat if you can. And again, it's this top shoulder that's starting to try and ease back and over your uh, ear, top ear. If you need to move your hand a little bit more away towards the back of you as well, sometimes that top hand kind of gets left behind. Keep trying to encourage that hand towards the back of you as well. Again, breathing here. And gently exhale this last time, easing those limbs back into parallel. Okay, so we're going to finish off with a V stretch. So let's start in four point kneeling. Reset the shoulder blades back and down. Walk the hands slightly forward by one hand span. Tuck the toes under. Lifting your knees off the floor, straightening the legs, just push into a V stretch. Heels just slightly easing towards the mat. They may not well reach the mat and just pedal the legs for a moment. We're encouraging a stretch to the back of the calves and the knee joints, but also in the back of that hamstring area too. Your shoulder blades are down the head between your elbows, if you can. 
pause now and lift both heels off the floor right onto the balls of your feet those toes getting a stretch behind the back of the toes intensify this slightly by pushing your pubic bone away from your belly button okay as if you're trying to tilt that pelvis away from you and then release the heels down bend the knees we're going to walk the hands back towards the toes a slow inch of walk an uh, inch inch size step and let your hands come towards the toes, the heels settle down onto the mat, press into the heels of your feet. Shift the focus now into your trunk, peeling yourself back up, restart the spine with soft knees, walk the hands up your legs if you need to, and straighten the legs, bring yourself back into center. Gorgeous, well done. Into the middle of your um, uh, mat for a moment. All righty, well done. Bend the knees slightly, scooping your hands like a little basket in front of you. I just want you to bring your hands, uh, chin in towards your chest and just gently allow your arms now to sweep out towards the side, straighten the legs and lift towards the sky, crossing the hands at the wrists. Breathe in, exhale, swing the arms down and soften the knees. Okay, fine now, a lovely pattern of breath. Breathe in to the top and exhale at the bottom. Breathe in at the bottom and exhale to the top. Find that bendiness. Well done, one more time. And then come back into standing hands down by your sides. Feet in parallel, breathe in through the nose and exhale through the mouth, resting down through the heels of your feet. Feel the posterior, posterior chain of your body just sinking back and down to the heels. Hands down by your sides, that's shoulder blades back. Well done, breathe in. As you exhale, send the messages through the shoulder blades, down through the glutes, through the hamstrings, the back of the knees, into the heels. One more lovely breath in, grow tall, find space in that pelvis. Exhale, zip and hollow. Open your eyes and we are done. Well done, well done. Lovely, great work. So quite a strong piece on those shoulder joints and the back, so do take any stretches. I um, may recommend perhaps a cat stretch later on at some point throughout the day, just to make sure you're feeling nice and mobile. We really, really great. So thank you very much. If I'm not seeing you in the week, I'll see you getting recording or in the studio. Take care. Bye. Bye for now.